What's going on there, folks? Good evening. Happy New Year. It is the Earth Master here on this Saturday night. Uh, it is the last night of 2022. Hopefully it was a good year for you. We've got uh, nothing but good thoughts coming into the new year. It's about 9.16 p.m. here along the West Coast in California where it's been uh, raining off and on all day today. We've got much, much more rain in the forecast Latest earthquake shows a 1.9 coming into the Bay Area, well, well, south of the Bay Area of California. Let's go ahead and check out some activity here across the region of California. We'll lighten up a little bit here outside of the San Francisco Bay region. Uh, outside of San Jose, it looks like a little earthquake, a 1.7 coming in within the last hour. Also some activity here around the San Andreas Fault near Simler. Never actually heard of that. Uh, Simler, California, 1.9 along the, uh, well, just south of the creeping section, it looks like. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. Southern California activity kind of tapering off here a little bit outside the Borrego Springs area where we've seen an earthquake uh, this morning kicking off here. Uh, magnitude 4.2 coming in about 4 o'clock in the morning, shaking things up out there in Southern California. Now, we've seen a, a number of aftershocks so far, including, uh, well, looks like, let me see if I can get a tally here real quick, 58, 58 uh, earthquakes so far in this sequence of uh, activity. Last one was just uh, a little bit ago, a little 0.6. So things uh, calming down for now, but still active in the region here of Southern California. Also another separate swarm here around the San Bernardino Mountains, although this kicked up roughly about the same time as that 4.2 down south of here. This area seen a 3.5 and followed up by a numerous amount of uh, little aftershocks as well. 14 earthquakes uh, in that little sequence of activity. Now uh, further up north, got some movement of course around the Cobb Mountain region. This is very typical here. For the area of the Clear Lake Volcanic Field, things uh, looks like they're continuing there for that region. A uh, little activity here in Northern California outside of the Ferndale region, a 2.6 and a 2.8, roughly about 17 kilometers deep for both of those quakes. Up into the uh, Washington region, uh, outside the Puget Sound region, it looks like a couple earthquakes this afternoon. 1.4 and a little microquake, a 0.9. Nothing major going on across the area of the Pacific Northwest or the rest of the states. Everything looks pretty quiet as far as uh, earthquake activity goes for now. But hey, let's not jinx it. Uh, let me give a quick check here at the trimmer map here tonight along the Cascadia subduction zone where all trimmers are now currently... Well, hold on a second here. Let's get out of there. Uh, where are... Oh, there we go. Trimmer map. 174 epicenters of trimmer Vancouver Island range and uh, that's a little bit of an uptick there tonight haven't really seen any earthquake adjustment up there in that area but uh, definitely be on guard could see some further activity upstream along the northern end of the Cascadia subduction zone and let's give a quick glance here at the Yellowstone area I know there wasn't really much shown up here on the map, but I do like to check it. And uh, I think we're pretty much on the same level here as minimal activity. Not a whole lot going on here across the seismographs of Yellowstone National Park at all. Now, this little interference pattern that I'm seeing in the red line here looks like a, a, an adjustment of some sort that was recorded across numerous stations here uh, in Yellowstone. So a little network interference there adjustment from someone on the other side adjusting some um, seismograph readings all right alaska not a whole lot going on up there folks it's pretty quiet a 1.6 a latest earthquake earlier uh, no major swarms noted a western pacific gosh darn it this is very quiet i think something's definitely brewing over here um, a quick glance at the emsc model as well shows uh, nothing being reported up here against the western edge of the pacific ring of fire and that's abnormal uh for to be this quiet for so long and um 
You know, there's a couple prime areas that we're watching up along the Curl Kamchaka Trench, areas around the Mariana Trench down here south that have not really been hit as uh, far as earthquake activity goes in the large-scale department in quite some time. And uh, this quiet area uh, continuing today. So I think uh, we need to watch those zones pretty closely. It may start off the new year with a bang, so to speak. A uh, swarm of activity across the Indonesia region, also into the Java Trench. Uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity here in the 3 and 4 range. Not a whole lot showing up here on the USGS map, though. But don't let that quietness fool you because that is not what's happening in the grand scale of things out here. There's definitely some earthquake activity, but the USGS, again, only reports 4.5 or 4.0 and above. But there's a pretty good sequence of earthquake activity out there in the Java Trench region. Also, 5.4 coming in. A pretty recent earthquake earlier this evening, uh, Papua New Guinea region around the Solomon Islands area. Remember, we're talking about this region uh, being the quiet zone. And it uh, looks as though they're getting hit a little bit with earthquake activity. That's about, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of expecting something maybe a little bit larger here around the Solomon Islands. We'll keep an eye on that area uh, for movement. Area around the Tonga area and the Fiji, all from this morning. Nothing really going on this afternoon time period. Uh, glance here at the EMSC globe as well. Confirms that. Not a whole lot going on through the GeoNet servers with New Zealand. But we will check that out and do a verif uh, verification here from the GeoNet servers, which are, there we go. And uh, the last earthquake here being reported, uh, 3.1 North Island, New Zealand. Let's see what we got. Uh, 3.0, 2.0, nothing major going on out here. And... Uh, let me see what we got for the volcano drums here. Not a whole lot. Uh, this here looks like it may be some type of interference, outside interference with this uh, volcanic drum. Not really showing up across the board of any other station. So uh, if it was earthquake activity, I think we would notice that on other seismograph stations and it's not happening. But far as uh, seismograph activity, it looks calm down in New Zealand currently. Um, wow. Yeah, really calm. All right, let's see. South Pacific Ocean, quiet. Antarctica, who knows? Um, you know, there's not a whole lot of seismograph stations down there. I'm sure there's some, but uh, we really don't know what's really going on down there. Uh, 4.1 India. Looks like northern India area. About 10 kilometers deep. Deep. Uh, shaking things up a little bit in the yo yellow pager system. Means it was felt pretty broadly around this area of northern India. All right, uh, western areas here. Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. Got one earthquake down here, South Sandwich Islands this morning, 4.7. That one coming in again about 4 o'clock in the morning. And uh, wow, I mean, it's just, who knows? Ending the year 2022 with very minimal activity. What do we got? 2.9. Maybe I spoke up too soon. What's happening here? Let me check out the Petrolia station there. There's that 2.9. Northern California coming in right now. Notice uh, the Petrolia station and also the Dinsmore station picking up this earthquake. So I don't know. Maybe I spoke too soon. Sometimes I do jinx myself. 2.9, 17 kilometers deep. Uh, that's definitely a subduction zone, a quake upstream in the locked area. Uh, of course, the further you go east here on this map, the deeper it would be in the subduction level. And of course, westward would be the more shallower it would be uh, for the epicenter because of the, uh, this here's the subduction uh, zone here, Cascadia Megathrust, where the Juan de Fuca plate, or in this case the uh, Gorda plate, it's a very small microplate, is being subducted underneath the North American plate here to the east. It's all being pushed down uh, towards the uh, east area. I don't know, is this 2023 going to be the year of the Cascadia Megathrust earthquake? Who knows? I don't, I don't have that crystal ball, so no one really knows. All I know is uh, we need to 
definitely uh, be on guard. All right, Kilauea Volcano, still seeing some activity out here around the crater area. This one below the crater of Kilauea, Lava Lake region, 1.4 kilometers below the surface for a 1.9. Now, um, let me see if they got any recent updates here from the uh, USGS volcano site because that's it's it's recharging obviously right we know it's recharging for the next eruption but is the next eruption going to be tomorrow going to be a couple years from now uh, that's that's the thing depends on how fast this is recharging seismograph stations around the area show uh, well here's the past 24 hour map this is a little on the spotty side I want to check out a different graph in the area because some of these well, hold on a second. I think I'm seeing that reading that I was talking about here. Uh, far as that one's offline. All right, hold on a second here. So the reading I'm talking about is uh, earthquakes, obviously very spiky type activity, but there's this long duration type event, and that's obviously magma movement stirring up below the surface. And uh, that's that's the only thing that it could be up here around the Kilauea volcano. Uh, it's definitely not wind. And quite a few of these stations are picking up that seismograph reading of the magma movement occurring below the surface. That's kind of why we're seeing that deeper earthquake activity down there about two, about two kilometers or so. Now, how much, uh, how much it is um, building up, we don't know. Um, I can't really find any specific tilt meters out there are, that are good quality. I mean, a lot of these are very choppy, showing intermittent data. Um, I do have, uh, let's see here. I don't know if this site has a, uh, a station out there in Hawaii or not. We'll check it out here real quick around the Kilauea volcano. Uh, this, oh goodness, this one here is showing, uh, I don't know how accurate it is. It looks a little on the, uh, uh, not so, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Hold on a second here. This station's called Calm. Stay calm. All right. Uh, vertical uplift. Vertical uplift right here. Now, 2000, about the end of 2021, of course, when the eruption began, we've seen the GPS systems drop, right? And it looks as though um, it's still continuing to uplift here across the area of the Kilauea volcano. Uh, there was that decline, obviously, because of the eruption, continual magma flow, lava flow there at Lava Lake. Uh, but it's taken a turn here towards the uptrend. And um, I don't know, I'm not for sure why that happened. That's kind of weird. This one's out of whack as well. Maybe that's the word I was looking for, out of whack. <laughs> oh, goodness. And this here, now, this is some type of uh, uh, instrument adjustment there with the GPS stations. But I still think there's something going on there underneath Kilauea Volcano that we need to keep an eye on. Um, I don't believe it's over by a long shot as far as the uh, eruption status goes there. Uh, over the course of the day today, there's definitely been a lot more than 26 earthquakes listed up here on the map. Uh, over the last seven days, uh, the number goes up to about 48. But uh, on those seismograph stations, we've seen uh, you know quite a bit of earthquake activity. A lot more than what's being reported out there. So the latest, uh, the latest update on Kilauea Volcano, that was put out... Uh, uh, this morning time period, no changes. They do talk about the 25 earthquakes, but there was more. Um, the swarm seems to be diminishing at this time, but activity is picking up, may pick up again, I should say. Um, these earthquakes are typical as the summit of Kilauea repressurizes after the end of the last eruption. Uh, the earthquakes are generally dispersed beneath and around the south side of the uh, caldera, of the crater area. So, you know, 
how much, how, how, how active it will be here in the future remains to be seen. We'll watch that. Nothing going on really at Kilauea Volc or uh, Mauna Loa up at the summit. Not a whole lot going on except for I, I seen some snow up there. The uh, USGS volcanoes reporting some snow in the uh, Mauna Loa summit area. 2.1, the latest earthquake around Pahala. And uh, let's see. I think that's about it, folks. There's not a whole lot else going on. South America got two earthquakes from today, a couple fours. Now, a look at the EMSC model down here shows, uh, looks like some other smaller quakes here in the region, some twos and some threes as well. Either way, a little bit of calm conditions before we go into the new year. We'll see how 2023 rings about. Solar weather activity here kicking up slightly. Um, we do have a coronal hole number 60 facing us. It will be facing us pretty soon, and that will be shooting out some high speed charge, uh, charge particles, high solar wind stream out here from number 60. Uh, that will be affecting the three-day ge geomagnetic forecast probably after the third or fourth time period. It takes a couple days uh, to get out here to planet Earth. Now, solar flare activity is diminishing slightly. 99% chance for a C flare, 40% for an M flare. X flare remains, uh, well, they dropped it from 10 to 5. So 5% chance for an X flare. Probability, now this is the latest image. This is not... That's from like four days ago. Uh, 3180 is rotating in the view. It is a pretty, uh, fairly ginormous sunspot, but not a whole lot of complex magnetic structure in there currently. And uh, 3176 was our main sub uh, subject of some M flaring, but it looks as though things are uh, deteriorating slightly. We'll watch 3177. This thing's grown pretty close, uh, pretty crazily. And another new sunspot here, southeastern limb. We'll watch. Uh, we'll definitely watch these in the coming days. Either way, it's getting pretty active out there. As far as the number of sunspots go, current conditions on the Aurora Oval, pretty calm, calm, and I'm sure very cold up there into the Canada region. All right, folks, have yourself a great night. Uh, again, happy New Year to everyone out there. And I, I do hope it's a it's a good year for everyone. Um, is that a new earthquake, 2.5, or did they downgrade that? Looks like uh, looks like they may have downgraded it slightly from 2.9 to 2.5 there in Northern California. But uh, all right, guys, we'll see you next year, right? I know that joke. It gets old after a while. See you next year. All right. Anyway, stay safe. Hope everyone enjoys their evening. Celebrate, but please do it responsibly. Uh, we've been having hot fireworks blow up all over the place out here uh, where I'm at. Uh, literally, like right next door. Shook my windows and my dog is scared to death. So I let him in for a little bit. Um, uh, it's just a, probably a little bit too scary for him out there with these, uh, l these uh, very loud fireworks going off. And I'm sure I'll be woken up right around midnight uh, when I'm sleeping. I don't think I'm going to stay up till midnight tonight. Just, I don't know. We'll see. Either way, I'll be up around midnight, whether I like it or not. Have a good one, folks. We'll catch you guys a little bit later on. Stay safe out there.